Hi, it's Claude Call France. Uh, about a month ago, one and a half a month ago, we had a Zoom meeting with uh, Greg Stout, uh, his uh, uh, international Zoom meetings, and there was a guy, uh, Brian, I thought Mr. Gippert, uh, but I know for sure his front name was Brian, and he was drawing in Tinkercad, and I thought he had a wonderful idea. He printed, he called this car the Stiletto, um, uh, he prints them in, uh, in resin, um, I thought, and he shared his file, um, uh, I thought, let's take a look at it uh, in performer's way, um, uh, what can I do with it, uh, and I don't want to print it in resin, I wanted to print it in PLA. And, uh, I think it's a, a wonderful uh, design. Uh, it's it's different and uh, it's maybe a kid car. Um, uh, for our club Slipstream, uh, uh, we use uh, a lot of uh, for the kids to play. Um, um, if you look at uh, what it will cost, yeah, it's about 20, 20, 20 euro, twenty euro, twenty to 50 euro, something like that, because you can buy a motor for seven euros, um, uh, some axles and tires, so, uh, and if the car breaks, you can print another one for 80 cents, one euro. So, I found it a wonderful ID, and uh, I can print them in any color, blue, red, yellow, whatever. Uh, so, I thought, let's have a try. Uh, so, when I look at the file, I saw from racing perspective some things I can tune from the original file from Mr. Gippert. So, here we are with the files. <coughs> um, the left sides are the old one, and the, on the right side you see the tuned up uh, with Bart. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, the space over here was for uh, a long can motor, and we changed it to a short can because we only had short cans on, um, uh, at, at that moment. Um, this hole he used, I think, a very big uh, magnet. Um, we don't like to drive magnet cars. so. We made this to get some lead in it. Uh, he had beautiful holes for uh, the front axles, but not underneath it. So we closed this and we made also two holes over there. As you can see on this spot, it's closed and we opened it. so. This will fit in, and you get some clearance. Um, we made this bar so it can rest on these knocks, and in the original one, it isn't. So we did a little bit of tuning, on the, so we changed a little bit in our thoughts of race perspectives that a car has to dance so uh, let's see what we made of it <clears throat> so now you could drive the the short can uh, okay it isn't possible to get the magnet in anymore this is the bar i told you about so it has a little bit, and we changed this also, so you can make a little bit of movement over there. We changed it over here. Here are uh, some LED, and at the end, I didn't find I can drive it very well, so I add over here a little bit of magnet. So th these are the holes on the downside, so we, you can adjust your tires a little bit better.
With the lead in it, the car weighs about 65, 65 grams. Um, it's not an awful lot of magnet because with motor, it has 24 grams of magnet. It's a 25, <clears throat> it's 21500 RPM motor from slotted, but you can also drive a C1 or whatever you want to do. And it drives 26, almost 27 kilometers per hour. or 7.4 meters per second. And now let's see on the track. So, here's our stiletto from Mr. Brian. We drive 11 volts across a small track. And let's see how it handles. Now, the neighbor track is not the easy one to drive on. Don't tell them in Spain and Italy because they all drive on Nico. But I do like the Carrera track more because it has a better surface and not bouncing a lot. But as you can see, you see that though? handle perfectly, almost. It's not a real race car, but you can have a lot of fun with it. Huh? Take six cars and you have a race. So, for 20 euros maybe, and you can print every day a new one, if the brake, if the brake something. So, yeah, I think it's the cheapest car that you can get. So, welcome to that. Mr. Brian, thank you.